worship God. The mm -hmm. way Islam was designed by Almighty God mm -hmm. for people to be happy right. worshiping Him. Mm -hmm. I have seen it with my own eyes and I have experienced it with my own heart mm -hmm. that I feel that when more people find out more about this, mm -hmm. the more it will come into Islam. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. Well, uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm glad you have an optimistic assessment of what the future of Islam is going to be in America. And in game one, Hakeem took history into his own hand. you run into when you try to cover this man on a one-on-one -on -one situation as Akeem Olajuwon having his way with the New York front line right now. Easily gets away from York. And the foul. He has been unstoppable. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the world of Islam. Our travels through the world of Islam have brought us to Houston, Texas here in the United States of America. And alhamdulillah, I'm right in the middle of downtown Houston and I'm in the beautiful Dawah Center, which was established here by our brother in Islam, Abdul Hakim Halajwan. Salaamu Alaikum. And thank you very much for, uh, uh, first of all, for, for your work for Islam. And uh, thank you for agreeing to sit with us. So, uh, uh, you know, I mean, Alhamdulillah, you're one of the a famous basketball player, and you've set a lot of records in the NBA. Alhamdulillah, it's, it's very beautiful. Mashallah, you know? mashallah. But you know, I think, uh, I, you know, just personally, <laughs> I feel that this place and places like it are some of the most beautiful things yeah. that we can do, you know, in our life with our wealth. So I just want to ask you a bit about yourself and, uh, and your background and where you come from and, you know, how you come to be here in America. Bismillah. Uh, first of all, uh, I was born in Nigeria, mm -hmm. you know, uh, grew up in Nigeria until I was 17 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, played basketball in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Well, was that your first sport, basketball? No, I was playing soccer, team Ambo. Mm -hmm. But my height, most of the time, the, the basketball coaches, when they see me playing other, other sports, mm -hmm. they always try to recruit, you know, they recruit me to basketball. But you were just not interested, huh? You know, but I was, you know, I was more the captain of the team, team Ambo uh -huh. for, the, for, the, for the junior national team. Uh -huh. So that was a, a title, mm -hmm. and I loved Team Ambo. Mm -hmm. But uh, the coaches were telling me, this is not your sport. Mm -hmm. You know, basketball is your sport. But mm -hmm. I didn't really understand in totality what they meant by basketball is your sport because of my height. Mm -hmm. And also they see the, the agility, the coordination that you be a fantastic uh, basketball player. So they had to kind of convince you to play basketball. I mean, ultimately, this is just, I mean, just uh, the respect, because these are national coaches mm -hmm. with the respect that for, them, for the attention that they were giving to me just to try to play basketball. Mm -hmm. So out of respect, mm -hmm. you know, then, you know, one, one, one day I went to the, to the basketball court with the coach. Mm -hmm. And I was so surprised because he put the whole team on one side of the court. Mm -hmm. And he just chose one point guard and myself uh -huh. on the other side. Mm -hmm. And he told the assist assistant coaches to take over the practice. Mm -hmm. Then he gave me that attention, that, that concentration mm -hmm. to let me know the importance of my position in basketball. Mm -hmm. I said, wow, when a national coach is giving me this much attention, Right. It must be something, mm -hmm. you know. Then, mm -hmm. So I recognize, and the way I was taught the game was also was unique, because as a as a center position, mm -hmm. the game basketball is built around the center. Mm -hmm. That position is the most valuable position in basketball. Mm -hmm. So it gave me that uh, understanding of how valuable my role mm -hmm. in basketball. Mm -hmm. and it gave me the concept of, you see, this paint, you have to rule it. Mm -hmm. the king of the paint. So he, gave, he painted this beautiful picture. Right. Uh, and, I, and I love the idea of the domination of where you control the paint, you control the game. So I have this good understanding of basketball mm -hmm. men mentally mm -hmm. before I even started playing basketball. Right, right. So, I mean, once you understood a little bit 
it grew on you. And I you mean, figured this was your place. I mean, it was beautiful. I, I, I was talking to him, then I was watching some of the guys practice on the other end of the court. Mm -hmm. And it was just so beautiful, the graceful movement of some of the guards mm -hmm. handling the ball without looking behind the back. Wow, this is cool. Mm -hmm. So I, I was amazed, just I fell in love with the game of basketball right away. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. And there was, uh, uh, before you came here to America, you played basketball in Nigeria. Yes. And then you came here to America. But before we talk about coming here to America, what was the, your life as a Muslim like there in Nigeria? I grew up, my, my parents, of course, uh, mashallah, uh, practicing Muslim. Mm -hmm. uh, grew up uh, watching my parents you know, the devotion, you know, going to the mosque and Ramadan. Uh, I had a, a wonderful background, mm -hmm. uh, being, you know, from Nigeria, mm -hmm. you know, growing up in an Islamic environment at the time, you know. But we have a, a lot of uh, Christians, neighbors. Uh, Nigeria was known for their oil, so we have a lot of international. Mm -hmm. So it's cosmopolitan, we have a lot of different uh, uh, cultures and uh, uh, different nationalities. Mm -hmm. So that gave me a really a good background to be exposed to, you know, uh, international community. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the understanding of Islam was not really clear because we, uh, we got the opportunity to see my parents, they were practicing, but uh, they did not really enforce the religion on, on the children. Mm -hmm. It's not just my parents, you know, there's a, you know, that was that, that, that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, only the adults and the elderly that practice Islam. Mm -hmm. The youth, you know, uh, our focus is sports, go to England or America, mm -hmm. where the adults are the ones going to Mecca to for Umrah and things like that. Right. So there was this a little gap mm -hmm. between the elderly mm -hmm. and the youth. Right. You'd focus more in America, you know, London, mm -hmm. you know, for education, right. you right. know, and uh, the contemporary outlook of uh, life mm -hmm. without uh, the, these uh, Islamic values. Right. So we see as uh, you start getting that without our focus. Right. So, you know, it, it, it's amazing where we truly learn Islam in America. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, is that a true statement for you that really, when you came to America, you really started to This learn? is where I discovered Islam. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Discover Mashallah. Islam in America. So you came to the University of Houston? Yes. We were, I went on, on, to the, uh, I played for the national team. In, in Nigeria? Nigeria. Yes. So there was an African tournament, mm -hmm. you know, in Angola. Mm -hmm. This is where I was discovered mm -hmm. from Angola. Then to recruit me to come to the University of Houston. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so, so how was your, I mean, when you first arrived in America, I mean, how did you find the life here? I mean, you know, this is uh, a dream of any, uh, you know, youth or child growing up in Nigeria or in Africa, mm -hmm. or in the world, really, is to come to America. Mm -hmm. So this is a universal dream of people outside America. Yes. So it was very natural to, to have this opportunity. Uh, the picture that I a view uh, that I've seen about America, mm -hmm. then uh, coming to America in, in reality was a, a trip, it was a different picture. Mm -hmm. How know? was it different for you? Because uh, you look at America as a, a place where everything is perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, things right. are, you know, everything. But then you realize that people are people. Mm -hmm. Because I see people in America, they remind me of people are back home. Mm -hmm. They have different character, but they different language. Mm -hmm. But the character is the same. Right. Then you start seeing, you know, so they know automatically, you make the adjustment uh, to pick my friends, mm -hmm. who you, you know you can get along with, mm -hmm. you know, the, time, the things that you like. So you start making yourself feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. and, uh, when I was in Nigeria, I went to a Muslim teacher training college, mm -hmm. which was uh, a, a boarding school. And that was by your choice to go to that school? My parents.